Hello everyone and good afternoon. I am standing in front of the beautiful Cougar 364 BHL fifth wheel. Now this is a part of your regular Cougar fifth wheels, not the half ton fifth wheels. So these are a little bit bigger, um, but that just means they have even more features to offer. And this floor plan in particular is very, very, very unique. Um, before we show you all of the fun stuff on the inside and go more on the outside, I wanna talk about some of the specs first. So our weight is looking at 11,246 pounds. Our hitch weight is 2,200 pounds. And then our overall length is 39 foot three inches. So not too bad. Um, and now starting with the front of the outside of the camper, you have your uh, battery box spare tire and you probably could use it for a little bit of extra storage. This does have four point auto leveling as well two propane tanks, one on this side, one on the other. And you're even prepped for the Furion side marker cameras. So you are able to view the sides of your camper while you are taking it down the road if you decide you wanna purchase that camera part. You also have two power awnings um, on either side of your middle campsite slide out. So you have that extra shade if you need it. Plus you have some pass through storage. So just extra places to put any of your camping gear. And then as you can see, you also have an outlet plus satellite and cable. So if you want to set a TV up in here, you can if you want. You even have power here on the outside as well. Bluetooth capable outside speakers. So you are able to hook your phone up to it and be able to listen to music while you're relaxing outside. Two entrances to this coach. Your main entrance has your uh, helper handle plus these awesome solid steps. A lot of people love those so much. And this is solar ready. So you are pre-wired for solar on this camper, which is pretty awesome. Moving along, there is that second entrance. Coming towards the back, you also have an outside kitchen. So dorm style mini fridge, you can put beverages in there. Open cubby space, plates, utensils, um, even stuff for your capital grill, which is just down below. And it is also stainless steel. Coming towards the back, since you see your ladder, that means you have a fully walkable roof. So you are able to climb up there and keep up on that maintenance. Some storage back here as well. And you do have access to it from the inside, which I'll talk about that a little bit more. And then you have two more slide outs on your non-camping side. Access to your water heater. And then this is the other side of your pass-through storage. There's that electronic auto leveling um, where you would press that. But this is also where you have all of your water hookups. So exterior shower that does have a nozzle that you can uh, hook up in there. And this is also where you can winterize, have your city water connection, open those tanks up and your battery disconnect. Plus, you also have your hitch vision. So it makes it a lot easier backing your truck up into your pen box. So I think that covers the outside. Now let's take a look at the inside. All right, starting from the front and working our way towards the back, you have your master bedroom, queen size bed that does lift up and you're able to have some storage underneath. And you also have end tables on both sides as well as some hidden storage with a door and some additional shelving. Each side also has outlets and USB ports, so you are, char are able to charge those electronics. If I can talk today. And just above is some closet lockers. Huge tinted window, so you can have a gorgeous view wherever you park your camper. And it even has a shade, so you can kind of block that out and be able to sleep in. AC is here in the bedroom to stay nice and cool. And then one of the slide outs on your non-camping side is actually for your wardrobe. So clothes rack extends all the way across. Plus you have two jumbo size drawers down there. Across from your bed is a spot for a TV so you can hang a TV up in here. And you even have your own private entrance into the bathroom, which is nice. Coming in here, you have your angled rounded out shower with a clear glass door. Really opens up the space too. Porcelain foot flush toilet, 
next to your main hallway bathroom entrance. And you also have this, uh, sliding door too for your main entrance, which really opens up this hallway space right here. Just across, you have your sink with storage all down below. And then you have some additional countertop space too. I also like that it's at an angle, the faucet. as uh, just something different. Outlet. And then your medicine cabinet. If you need any more space, just behind your door is even more st uh, storage for your bathroom. So it has a really pretty mirror on it, but you can put all of your towels washcloths, some additional toiletries down there. Coming out into the uh, steps area is your in command system. So this is your touch screen control system for your camper and you are able to download a free app. Um, so you can access all of this from your phone too, which is really nice. Um, you know, turn your lights on, uh, extend out your awnings, your slide outs, things like that. And the fact that you are able to do it from your phone, you don't really have to leave your car either. So pretty awesome. Hook right here just for some keys or leashes for your pets, things like that. And now we're into the main portion of the camper, your uh, entertaining space, living room, and kitchen. Right next to your steps leading up into the master bedroom, you have this huge pantry space. And the other side opens up to the same thing as well. Um, shelves all down from ceiling to floor. You can pretty much fit the whole grocery store in there. And then you have your booth dinette, nice place to have your family dinner. Um, and the price also comes out to be 58850 for everything before I forget. This also will fold into a sleeping space for extra guests, kids, friends staying with you. And this whole slide out is covered in windows so you do not have to worry about lack of natural light. Theater reclining seats are right next to that. Um, Built-in cup holders and these also have heating, massage, and accent lights. Of course, you have your remote control storage, or I would probably use that for some snack storage. And now into our gorgeous cream colored kitchen. It's very much traditional or farmhouse style, which is, you know, something that I love so much. You have your refrigerator that matches your cabinets, which is pretty cool. Next to that is your uh, residential size microwave couple cabinets up to above and uh, open shelving. You'll probably put some spices there or plants or maybe even wine bottles too. Window so you can have a view while you are cooking at your stove. Um, extra countertop space. You can plug in a small appliance there if you want. Cabinet down below. And this also has uh, three burners underneath so you can cook some things at the same time. But with this glass covered down and your burners off, you can use this for some extra countertop space too. And there's your oven. Across from there is your island. Again, storage all down below. You will not have any lack of storage in here. Plus, you have an extended amount of countertop space. 50-50 split stainless steel sink. I like the 50-50 splits just because you can place your dirty dishes on one side, still be able to use the other. Spray nozzle for those dishes. And then talking about our entertainment center, you have a perfect view from it, honestly, from the dinette and from your theater seats. Huge electric fireplace down below, and this actually emits heat. Um, so if it happens to be pretty chilly in the evening or the morning, you can kick that on and it will feel great. Um, storage is up above. And then right in between is your Bluetooth speaker system. So that's where you can access those outside speakers, inside speakers, DVD, Bluetooth, radio, you name it, you probably can have access to it. 4K Ultra HD TV, and it is on a swivel. I don't think you'll need to change the position of it, but it gives you that option. Couple cabinets up above, and it has a different design on it than your cabinets over there. Um, it's more glass, but it has kind of like a checkered looking design. I don't know what you call it, but really pretty. Crown molding is everywhere too, as you can see. So it's really the little details around here. And now, the best part of this entire camper 
you have an actual second bedroom here. So this camper is designed for if you have older kids, um, adult friends that you want to have stay with you, your college friends, even in-laws and stuff. This is the perfect camper for that. Um, I believe this is a full or queen, I can't remember, size bed. Definitely two people are able to sleep there. You have some windows for natural light coming in and they have some closet space with mirror panels. I'll try to open it with my left hand. There we go. A clothes rack that extends all the way across and each door has its own drawer space too. Over here on the left, you have a nightstand with storage underneath um, and even an outlet plus a USB port to charge those electronics. They have their own light too. And it gets better than that. Coming up these, uh, this ladder, I guess you can call it. Try not to hurt myself. You have a loft just above there. So just another place to have more people stay with you. Definitely two people can fit up here comfortably. Um, especially your kiddos. This is a great spot for them. Railing too, so they don't have to worry about falling off in the middle of the night. Plus they got a window, an AC in here as well and a cubby space for a TV and some storage. Right across is also a spot for a TV, so you can hang one up in here. Coming down, they also have their own half bath, so they don't have to travel all the way to the front of the camper to use the restroom in the middle of the night. Um, you have your porcelain foot flush toilet to the left, lots of storage down below, and you have a quite a bit of extended countertop space. Um, for any toiletries and stuff, sink, medicine cabinet, towel rack. And I'd like to point out too, these ceilings are very tall, especially in here. Um, sliding door for that extra privacy. And again, it won't block out any of this walking space right here. This is also where your second entrance comes into play. So definitely if your kids are outside getting dirty, they can use that restroom and not have to track all the mud and stuff inside. So that is it for this cougar, you guys. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to let us know and we will be happy to help.